All right, I'm gonna do it. This is the video I have been scared to make since I started this channel. But today we're gonna tackle the question, is it a sin to be fat? Hi, I'm Tyler, your Christian personal trainer, and here at 517 Fitness, I'm all about helping you lose weight and gain faith. I would like to start today's video a little bit differently than most of my other videos. I know that this is a very sensitive topic we're about to talk about, so I would like to just start with prayer. Dear God, thank you for all that you have blessed us with. Let your truth speak through me, and let this message be given with love and compassion, and received with an open heart and mind. Amen. Let's start by actually looking at the question we're trying to answer. So the question is, is it a sin to be fat? Let's break it down into basically the only two real parts of the question, sin and fat. What is a sin? Well, the short answer I have come up with is anything that leads you away from the perfect image God created us to be. I do have a video going pretty in depth into this topic if you want to know more about it. There'll be a link in the description down below. But for the most part, this is the most clear definition I really have been able to come up with. If you have a better definition, let me know in the comments down below. So besides that, we have all heard of the deadly sins, the seven of them being lust, greed, wrath, anger, pride, sloth, and gluttony. These come from a mixture of places that claim to have a Christian origin. This specific list is actually nowhere in the Bible though. With that said, there are a few places within the Bible where there is a list of wrong things. Places like Proverbs 6, 16 through 9, and Galatians 5, 19 through 21. If you look at this list of the seven deadly sins, I could make an argument for each of them being able to lead you to being overweight or fat. With gluttony and sloth being the most obvious. So now that we have a running definition of sin, what is it considered to be fat? Well, according to most health professionals, myself included, a healthy body fat percentage is 6 to 24% for a male and 14 to 31% for a female. But if you But what if you're above that percentage? Well, you are considered obese and, in not so politically correct terms, fat. So if you fall into the category of overweight, don't get angry yet. There is good news coming. So let's put the two together. So is being above a healthy body fat percentage leading you to the perfect image God created us to be? In most cases, no. It's not. Let's not even get into the physical concept of looking perfect. Being overweight is known to cause depression, lack of energy, and low confidence. Do you think having these three things are how God wants us to live? It's hard to share his love when you're depressed. It's hard to make disciples and baptize people when you have a lack of energy like he tells us to do in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. And how big of an evangelist can you be without confidence? But here is where the good news comes in. Romans 3, 23 tells us that we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. You are not alone in this battle. Some studies state that over 60% of the US is overweight. But there is even more good news. I actually think that being overweight is the easiest sin to repent from. 
It might take longer than other sins, but there are books after books and thousands of trained professionals that have dedicated their life to helping people conquer this battle. But at the end of the day, I encourage you not to focus on the past. You know that you have let yourself get to a place physically you don't want to be. Just like every other sin, it's a time to repent. This is a time to make a 180 degree jump and walk to God. To make it even easier, I've created a free course. It's all about the Bible secret that helps you lose weight and gain faith. Take this quick course and get your body and your relationship with God on the same page. That way you with him can move in the right direction. Also, I would love to help you. There are some links down below to some of the options I provide that will easily get you going in the right direction, spiritually and physically. And lastly, remember God loves you, no matter what shape you are. Thank you for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're old to this channel, share this video and hit that thumbs up like button. Thank you again for watching this video. God bless, finish strong, and I will see you in the next video.